I'm Peter Block here in Orlando at the ACC annual meeting for On the Scene, and with me is Jeff Olgan from UCSF. We're talking about the VEST trial, which Jeff has just uh, presented here at ACC. An interesting trial having to do with defibrillating vests versus defibrillators, or how to take care of patients with acute myocardial infarction right. early on. Right. So, Jeff, tell me about the study. So this was a study to try to reduce mortality in the early phase post-MI. It was a randomized trial where patients were randomized in a two-to-one fashion to receive a wearable defibrillator and guideline medical therapy versus just guideline medical therapy alone. So we knew in the past that early defibrillator implantation is not appropriate for patients that have acute myocardial infarction within the first 30 days. Um, and now this is really a trial that asks, well, maybe that's right, but if you give somebody a vest to defibrillate them if they need to, will they be better off? So what's the outcome? Yeah, I mean, I think the difference between this and the ICDs are that once you put an ICD and it's committed for a long time, lots of patients will improve their ejection fraction over that period of time and may not need an ICD. Um, so that was why we thought that WCD, the wearable defibrillator, might be a good bridge. Um, so, so we found that our, our primary outcome, which was sudden death reduction, was not statistically significantly reduced, although it was trending in the right direction. Uh, we did, however, find a reduction in total mortality in the wearable defibrillator arm. Now, that's a weird outcome. So no, total outcome. mortality means stroke, total mortality means you know being run over by a car, right. uh, and so forth. So. How do you interpret this, Jeff? What do you think is going on? Yeah, so we need more analysis, obviously. The database just closed a few weeks ago. But I think what's happening is that our power to detect a difference in sudden death was already, um, it was 80% when we started the study. Um, interestingly, our assumptions around mortality in the control group and risk reduction was spot on. Um, we uh, estimated a, a 5% uh, mortality rate in the control group and a 3.7% mortality rate in the WCD group, and we got 4.9 and 3.5. Um, the effect size we estimated was 36, 35% and it was 35.5%. But what went into the calculation was the amount of patients who wore the vest. We assumed a 10% non-wear rate, and we had a 20% yeah. non-wear rate, and that further reduced the power. And then I think the, the most important thing is classifying sudden death is really challenging in this population. Un, unwitnessed deaths or deaths with minimal documentation can be very hard to determine. And we in fact had 5% of the deaths were indeterminate. And the analysis was that those indeterminate causes were dropped from the sudden death analysis, but obviously included in the total mortality. You know, I got it, Jeff. But, you know, the interesting thing about this is if you're wearing a vest and you go to the trouble of being part of the study and so forth, one of the things that struck me is that maybe because of that you're more conscious of other things that are going on and you may call your doc earlier. That think, may save you. I think that's right. And, and I would add on top of that that the, the vest does more than just deliver shocks for ventricular tachyarrhythmias. It detects asystole and bradycardia. Um, we had 70 patients abort a shock, a shock by pushing the button. It means there were 70 patients that had some significant alarm. Uh, we did show fewer strokes in the defibrillator arm. Perhaps those were due to detecting AFib early or detecting TIAs early with brady, you know, brady arrhythmias. Um, so lots more analysis to know to sort that out, but um, I think it's probably a combination of those things. So an interesting trial, if you had an infarct, uh, would you want to have a vest to go home with? I think at this point, I mean, it's hard to argue with a total mortality decrease. There you go. Thanks very much, Dave.